Praise be to God. Daily one missionary biography. Today's missionary John Gibson Patton. Date of birth 25/4/1824. Date of death 28/1/1907. Birthplace Kirkmahu, country Scotland. Place of mission New Hebrides. John Gibson Patton was a Scottish missionary who served in the New Hebrides Islands in South Pacific. He studied at a parish school and learned the cloth manufacturing trade when he was just 12. He was much influenced by the prayerful life of his father and felt called by God to serve as a missionary. Eventually, he went to Glasgow University to study theology and medicine. After graduating, he started distributing tracts and did missionary work among the poor in Glasgow. In 1858, he was ordained by the Reformed Presbyterian Church and got deployed to islands in South Pacific for missionary work. Along with his wife Mary Ann Robson, Patton set sail to the South Pacific in 1858 and began to work in Tana Island. The natives of Tana were cannibals and were full of superstitious beliefs. His stay on the island was brief yet tragic. There he lost his wife and his infant son to malaria within few months. He buried them close to his house and stayed awake several nights to protect them from the cannibals. Despite the grief, he continued to minister among the hostile natives. who attacked him several times during one such attack he was rescued by a missionary ship just in time patton then was sent to australia to raise funds for the pacific missions he traveled to new south wales victoria south australia and tasmania to stir up missionary enthusiasm in the churches after returning to new hebrides in 1866 he established a mission station in anaiwa island the natives were cannibalistic cruel and barbaric quite like those of the Tana Islands nevertheless Patton learned their language and labored to bring them to Christ he translated the new testament into their language and gave them their first hymn book worship services were held regularly despite the dangers from the natives and the diseases after many years of patient ministry the entire Anaiwa island professed Christ as their savior beloved What is your role in stirring up missionary enthusiasm in your community? Lord, help me to instill missionary purpose and enthusiasm in others. Amen.